Hi everyone, and welcome to our channel. Here we are, the middle of December, 2021. It's been just over a year since I started making videos for the YouTube channel, based upon the Vectric software of Aspire and VCarve. Over the year, I've tried to come up with some interesting topics to help you out. It's been both exciting and challenging to be able to produce these. But the end result is if you were able to find one small item that made your life a little bit easier or more creative when using the software, then it's all worth it. In this video, I'd like to take a review of what happened over the last year. Lots of new ideas, lots of interesting techniques, and hopefully you were able to learn something from them. So let's take a look. We started off with the process of using more than one STL file within the VCarve software. A little bit of trickery, I have to admit, but it does work. I tried to alternate between the VCarve software and Aspire, but I've gotten a number of requests to focus in on Aspire work, 3D modeling particularly. We developed a series of 3D modeling for newbies. It was very successful, and again, I hope it was very useful. For me, looking at the creative side of things has always been a passion in my life. And I'd like to thank everybody for their support and encouragement in making these videos. Our 10 lesson series of 3D modeling for newbies actually went further than expected. Number 11 the famous Dragnet police badge. I hope you got a chance to try it and make one for yourself. Throughout the series, we explored how to use the different tools to create 3D models within the Aspire software. Basic fundamental concepts on how you can create your own. We looked at the quality of resolution within the software and how you can produce better looking end products. I showed a little bit of what we do on a regular basis for our regular business and some custom shapes. Our JPEG to 3D model episode is our most favorite with almost 10,000 views. Thank you so much for wanting to watch. The series on how to create a badge, an Air Force badge, was rather interesting and challenging. It forced me to really break down the modeling process step by step. I hope you found it interesting, as always. But I must say my favorite series was the one on the face, starting with the lips, the nose and the eyes and the ears, and putting it all together in the very last episode. Rather rewarding, I have to say. And of course, we ended the year with the hand-carved texture look. Something new in version 11. As you can see from the videos, I tend to lean towards the artistic side. I hope these videos helped your creative juices flow. Challenge yourself to become incandescently brilliant. I know you can. I look forward to next year's schedule of videos, but I'm not exactly sure when they'll be premiering, so stay tuned. As always, if you need some help, send me an email, mm at mazalik.com. I'll be glad to help. Thanks, enjoy your holiday, and we'll see you next year. Enjoy.